Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This is a serious but funny article, and it's serious because the U.S. Uh, designates uh, Wagner Group as a transnational criminal organization at the White House. That's the one thing. And the other one, you have the boss, the chief, uh, the founder of Wagner Group, sending a letter to the White House. So, <laughs> Yevgeny Prigozhin, the chief of Wagner mercenary private military company, sends a letter to the White House uh, asking for um, explanations. Why do you guys think that we are a transnational cap uh, criminal organization? So it's fine that these guys contacted the White House, which is what you expect. You know, I will uh, relate to this, but <clears throat> not, not, a, not as a mercenary. <laughs> So, the first article is from today and is uh, from NUS. Russia's Wagner, this is from uh, the National News, this uh, uh, article. And uh, this is the title Russia's Wagner Group, a transnational criminal organization, US says. White House releases images, it says, show a, that's a different story, North Korea weapons delivery delivered to. Uh, delivery to the Russian mercenary group. So that's why this is uh, an, a transnational criminal organization. I don't know, but this is Mr. Kirby, the weasel, 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 weasel. All right. So the White House, Washington. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Biden administration on Friday upgraded its classification of Russia's Wagner group to a and I'm quoting, significant transnational criminal organization, end quote, and announced coming sanctions against the private military group. White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby, the weasel I showed you, told reporters, reporters that the new designation would put more squeeze on <laughs> Wagner's ability to do business around the world and will, and I'm quoting, broaden the network. End quote, of nations and institutions that will stop doing business with the group. In my translation, we would uh, threaten everybody who's going to do any business on their own as a sovereign state with whomever we t tell them. So we tell a sovereign independent country that if you don't do this to those, we're going to Basically, so uh, that's the new uh, world order and the thing that we are supposed to know, the new rule-based order, international order. That is, you know, I tell you that. You can't tell me. You can't tell me that. So let's say you have uh, my friends from Zimbabwe telling you to say, hey, buddy, uh, how about you don't do business with, let's say, I don't know, Germany? Or how don't you, why don't you take your um, military bases out of uh, Germany? or nuclear weapons from Germany. How about that? You take them out. We don't like nuclear weapons. <laughs> what do you think the United States will do? Probably this is Zimbabwe's, uh, you know, uh, words coming. Bing, bing, nothing happens. Because we're all equal. But some of us are more equal. If you remember George Orwell, uh, Animal Farm. Anyway, so this is what it is. We will work, and I'm quoting, we will work relentlessly to identify, disrupt, expose, and target those who are a system Wagner, end quote, says Mr. Kirby. Okay, you do that. He added that new sanctions against the group will be announced next week. The White House also re released newly disclassified images that apparently, apparently, don't you like that word, apparently? <laughs> they appear, but not, you know. Why don't you put that, say it like this, the classified images that show a weapons delivery from North Korea to Wagner. Why do you say apparently? Leave it out. Apparently from is already zero. No, null. Anyway, show a weapons delivery from North Korea to Wagner in an attempt to counter Pyongyang's denial over the delivery. Now, remember. Remember when um, Colonel, um, what's his name, Powell, Colin Powell, came in front of the United Nations and showed pictures? of Saddam's uh, uh, mobile um, weapon laboratories, or, you know, how do you call those, uh, um, with substances and uh, whatever they were not supposed to do. You know what I mean? Remember when that happened? And he came in front of the United Nations and said, these are the 
the laboratories with all those uh, illegal weapons and manufacturers and uh, remember okay now these guys are telling us the, telling us this so do i believe that i believe them as i believed colin power then remember with his little uh, you know all those labs mobiles that they had the pictures but they couldn't tell us where they are because they were mobile they were moving around but somehow they took pictures leave me now alone russia and north korea share a 17 kilo kilometer land border and the two countries have a connecting train line okay let's go now to mr Brigozin, who contacted the white house i think that white house that's i think that's funny as all right let's see come on where are you this comes from ukraine ukrainska pravda now this is mr Prigozin. All right the bad dude right there T -t 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 i like how clear now we can see all this beautiful yes all right this is from the january 21st 2022 Prigozin writes a letter to us to find out about crimes of wagner group so yevgeny Prigozin, the founder of the wagner pmc private military company has written a letter to the white house ostensibly to find out about the crimes of his soldiers the source is Prigozhin's press service oh well, i didn't know he got such a thing details the oligarch published a laconic letter in russian and english addressing it to john kirby john kirby is the weasel i just showed you before i showed you this weasel the coordinator of the u.s national security council why did i call Prigozhin? Uh, Weasel, because I think he's very, very, very shady guy over there. So, I mean, at least I can say that uh, Kirby is a weasel, 100%. But this guy is uh, a dangerous. Uh, even if you're for Prigozhin or against, I think that Prigozhin has the ability uh, to cause a lot of harm um, in a very special way. Uh, the United States has the ability uh, too, but remember, Kirby is a spokesperson from the white house he doesn't really have power to you know push buttons uh, and uh, issue orders anyway as you always uh, know strength power could be used for uh, uh, good things and bad things quote let's quote mr Prigozin. dear mr kirby i have a question for you can you name what kind of crime the wagner p committed question mark and quote all right on out on note on the 20th of january it became known to the united states that the united states will soon impose additional sanctions against the wagner group which joined the russian military in the ukraine in the war in ukraine so prigozhin is uh, you know i think he's entitled wouldn't you that's why when you when you are charged with something uh, you always you always should be provided with uh, the crime you know exactly what crime you committed if a guy stops you a guy being a, a law enforcement officer and uh, say hey uh, Gigi I stopped you okay can you you know express exactly what crime you have to you know suspect me of uh, you you have to <laughs> you have to provide me with the exact crime I'm suspected of committing and the person if lives in a free world and country should be able and should do that per law uh, that's why this guy says hey biden kirby what kind of crimes did i commit and kirby's like i'm just weasel 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 i don't know what you're talking about because now i'm going to relate it with some uh, personal stuff which i think it happened to you too and i caution you really really i think this is a good advice that i not a bad advice but a good advice that i will try to uh, spew here is this when you are charged with something or someone you know attacks you and says hey you you are a bad person always 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 ask specifics like okay what exactly did i say or i say well you you engage in this kind of speech you know this kind of speech i'm not gonna anyway you say okay can you tell me what exactly i said the exact words i don't want you to paraphrase me because that's not accurate uh, what i said because of interpretations i wanted to to tell me the exact quote and you tell me the location tell me if anybody was around so we can verify that because you're gonna say i said that and i'm gonna say no i didn't your word against my word so 
when the location, right? The location, the time, the people around, and what exactly. I don't want you to paraphrase. No paraphrase doesn't count. Tell me exactly what I said. And you're going to find out that 99% of the time, the person will not remember, will avoid or call your names, continue to call your names. It's not going to engage in a uh, uh, honest debate. It just wants to uh, make you zip it. And you won't do that. So remember, when you are with your boss, if you have one, and he's going to tell you that you underperformed or you say, or someone complained, because usually this is what it is. When you go in front of your or, or manager, gonna manager is going to tell you, or supervisor or whomever, uh, hey, you uh, you broke the law. Okay, what exactly did I do? I did I do when, uh, where, and witnesses. And if he can't answer that, don't engage. Well, I discard your accusation. It's baseless. I don't like, because otherwise we can say to each and every person, you're a bad dude, you are this, you are that, you are that. Tell me exactly what I said. And you want to find out they do not. And then is the other thing is the tone. Tone is a subjective interpretation of someone's, uh, you know, verbal abilities. So if someone says something to you and says you have a tone or your tone, you can say the same thing to the same to that, to that person without any value. No, your tone is aggressive. Your tone is threatening. It's going to be like, no, 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 wah, 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 wah. Well, the same way as you say my tone, I can say the same thing uh, about your tone is my interpretation. So I'm going to get very, very threatened by you. I'm scared, so I'm going to react. Well, basically, that's what they try to do. Keep your mouth shut because we're talking. Well, don't do that. Ask for specifics, my friends. So same, Prigozhin. Ask what exactly did they do? And you know what Kirby's answer is going to be? Or he's going to say, you're a terrorist. And that's it. Or you did that in uh, uh, Bukha. Or you did a committed crime in Bakhmut. Okay, tell me exactly when. Tell me what, who investigated what and where and you know all those questions. But hey, it's a different different um, society and culture right now in the United States of America where these kind of things are really uh, unacceptable. And we go with fuzzy feelings, but in the fuzzy, fuzzy feelings, some of us have power to uh, shut us up. But we do not have the same power. And they use certain tools that we are not allowed to use them against them. Like, I don't know, asking questions or you know, calling names or blaming people or accusing people. Because uh, everything is based on ba -ba -ba -bum. you have it, you win. Even if you're smarter, you're louder, you're logical, you know, you're better looking. What that matters is this. He can shut you up. He can take care of you. Well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Prigozhin will not get an answer. But nevertheless, uh, remember, the United States can impose anything it wants on other countries for the good they consider being good. And you talk about uh, Ukraine um, being a sovereign state and independent and all that, but then there will anybody else who's not going to cooperate with their demands on Prigozhin. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth. And be just, my friends.